What is popping today, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Flim, man. And it has been, it has been a while, bro. Like, I think it's been over a month since I posted a video. Um, before we get into all that, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any content I post in the future. But man, let's let's go ahead and get into it. Um, where do I start? So I've been fishing tournaments lately. My last three tournaments, I've skunk, freaking skunk. This fall transition has beat me up. Fall transition is three to my zero. Um, I've been struggling catching fish. So in today's video, man, we are about to get back to the basics, man. We're about to get back to my roots of fishing, kind of the roots. I started out bank fishing, obviously, but we are going to hit up a smaller body of water. It's actually a pretty big size pond. It actually says lake, but it is in a neighborhood. And honestly, you guys, I may or may not get kicked out. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. I don't think they have signs saying no fishing, but there's just no way to get down to the body of water without parking somewhere you're not supposed to park. But my game plan is to just pull up to a spot, unload my kayak, take it to the water, and then get in my truck and drive and park somewhere where I'm supposed to park. And I just have to walk back to the kayak and do the same thing, vice versa. So um, it is kind of inconvenient in that manner. Hopefully I don't get kicked out before I can even get started fishing, but um, we definitely gonna try it out. I've done this once before, but it was like literally like two years ago. So um, we are gonna do that today, man. We just gonna get in the kayak and do some bank fishing. Um, go to a place where I'm able to cover the entire um, body of water and try to catch some fish, man. We are gonna get back to the basics. I, I have to get back to the basics on my channel, man. Um, and get back and find that love again for fishing because it, it's been tough it's been cold it's been tough and it ain't been fun for me so yeah today's video man we're gonna get back to the basics and i hope you guys enjoyed this video um with that being said i'll see you guys out there in the water if i don't get kicked out let's go for you guys i'm out here on the water as you guys can see it was sketchy but we here um the water is extremely low right now um, and visibility I said I got about a foot of visibility I think I'm gonna start out with this spinnerbait it's a bluegill spinnerbait Z man I don't know which model it is or if they even make a variety of different models but who are we doing today First one of the day, you guys. Third or fourth cast. Yeah. On that little bluegill spinner bait, get this guy back. He's small and skinny. Got another one, you guys. Got another one. Spinner bait, where is it now? 
<laughs> Second fish of the day, you guys. He's a little bit healthier, but about the same length. Hopefully, I can catch some bigger ones, but second fish of the day, you guys. I got hit on that cast, you guys. Maybe they only want the spinner bait today. I don't know. We do got some chop on the water, bluegill pattern. Can't go wrong with it, especially in the pond. I think I know something that I can get a little bit more bites on in this pattern uh, bait. I can, either, I can either throw in a willow vibe with a paddle tail swim bait or I can just do a small underspin. I think that flash is making a difference. Um, right now, I've thrown a listless. Haven't got anything on that. Maybe I could go one. Small guy. Yeah. I'm just fishing a grass flat right now and I know that you know the chatterbait is better that's why i said for like grassier stuff on uh, spinnerbait is better for structure but uh and cover but that guy's skinny get this guy back Whoops. but um yeah that's why i said the willow vibes because it's just like a chatterbait but it's just so small very finesse type deal i'm pretty sure i can get more bites on that but the spinnerbait is working so we're gonna throw it until it don't work anymore Got another one. That may be the best one of the day, you guys. Nah, this looks weird. Number four or five. They're literally all the same size. Hopefully we can weed out these and get a big one. Just need to hook into one big one. It would be good. Satisfied. This right here is that Dirty Jigs uh, underspin. I was telling you guys about, I got a 3.3 .3 Saucy Swimmer on the back. And I ain't gonna lie, that thing look pretty dang sexy, man. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish on this. Maybe, to hopefully, this increase our bites. Uh, we're catching fish, but let's see if we can catch even more. First cast. First cast. First cast. What are you? First cast. <laughs> That's crazy. And you want to know the crazy part is? It's the biggest fish of the day. He's not huge by any means, but he's the biggest one of the day. Get this guy back. <laughs> Literally, first cast, underspin, paddle tail swim bait. Well, beautiful people, I think that's gonna do it <clears throat> for today's video man um i came out here and i really just wanted to get the skunk out of the boat haven't had a great fall fishing um yet and i think today was a pretty good turnaround for myself um i don't know i caught five or six probably more than that but i, I definitely didn't put everything on camera but i don't know how many um of the fish that you guys will actually see um caught them on a bluegill pattern um spinner bait they was munching on that this morning but it was just real small guys 
And then I tied on the underspin, a dirty jigs underspin with a Guga Squad. No, oh, excuse me. With a Guga Squad paddle tail swim bit on the back. And that got me my biggest fish. So everything was smaller than that fish. And it really doesn't say much because all of these fish were super, super tiny. But it's all good, man. I'm just happy to be out here and happy to catch fish. I'm actually about to go hit up another bigger body of water another pond with the kayak and try to film some different content so if you guys see two videos back to back and i got on the same thing just know i'm out here grinding man same day different body of water um be sure to like subscribe comment winter fishing is around the corner it's gonna suck for me but hopefully hopefully it's good content for you guys um be sure to like subscribe comment i will catch you guys on the next one and i'm out peace